Hello everyone, it's Teresa here at St John's Church in Hartford. Um, I'm out in the graveyard today. I want to show you something really rather special and beautiful. If you bend down with me here, we have some lovely flowers growing in our churchyard. They're primroses, uh, they're just waving around gently in the breeze. The sun was shining on them beautifully a moment ago. They're a lovely yellow colour. But other than looking beautiful, what's their purpose? Why are they here? Well, the Bible tells us that they're here simply to bring glory to God. They're praising him just by existing. Now, do you think that these flowers are worrying about anything? Do you think they're sat there thinking, oh, when's it next going to rain? My roots might dry out soon. Or are they thinking, I wonder if there are enough nutrients left in the soil for me to keep growing? I don't think they are, are they? They're just happily sat there being beautiful and bringing glory to God. They're not worrying about anything at all. Now, Jesus tells us in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, he says this. Don't worry about anything. Well, that's easy to say. And he says we should be more like those flowers. We should not worry about anything, just as the flowers don't worry about anything. But you know, I think at the moment life's a bit different. It's all changed and, and that can be worrying. And I bet some of you have worries about why things are different at the moment. Why don't you just take a moment to have a chat with the person that you're with about what things are worrying you at the moment. If you need to pause the video, that's fine, do so. Uh, but once you've had a chance to think about the things that are worrying you, we're going to think, how do we stop worrying? Jesus has told us, don't worry. So how do we practically do that? Well, I've got a set of weights here. These weights are really heavy. Um, and, and weights that we lift are a little bit like the worries that we have in our life. And, and I bet some of you have come up with some fairly similar worries to the ones I've thought of. It might be that you're worried about when you're next going to see your friends or how you're going to be able to keep in touch with them when you're not in school. It might be that you're worried about doing your schoolwork and uh, how are you going to get your work done? How are you going to find out what you should be doing? How are you going to understand everything without the teacher being there to help you? You might be feeling worried about somebody that you know and love being ill. Uh, and maybe even worse than that, you can't visit them either when they're ill. And that's not great, is it? We're worrying about that. Some of you might be worrying actually about having to spend more time with your family than you're used to. Are you going to be arguing with your brothers and sisters? Are you going to be getting bored? Are you going to be getting fed up with your mum and dad and not being able to go out and do all the fun things that you normally do? I tell you what, this weight's getting really heavy. I've been holding it now for a long time and it feels a lot heavier now than it did at the start. Well, Jesus says our worries are a little bit like that. The more we hold on to them, the heavier they feel, the bigger the burden is of them. I'm going to put this down now before my muscles get tired. So Jesus says we shouldn't worry, but how do we stop worrying? Well, in Philippians chapter 4 in the Bible, it says this. Let me just find the right page. I put the bookmark in, but it's windy out here, so everything's blowing away. Uh, Jesus says, do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything that you need. So Jesus is saying the answer to our worries is prayer. So when we have problems, Jesus says we should pray. And when we pray, in Philippians, Jesus promises us that we will receive his peace. And as we receive that peace, through the power of the Holy Spirit, he will give us the power to persevere. So, we are worried at the moment, and we often worry. And when we have problems, we need to pray about them. 
we need to trust and expect Jesus to give us a sense of peace about our worries. And as he gives us that sense of peace, we can hope in the power of the Holy Spirit that we will have the chance to persevere. So I want just to come back to this beautiful flower. Will you join with me and the flower in just trusting God, in letting our worries be lifted by Jesus and in existing purely to bring glory to God. Amen.